right, day three. Had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Uh, boy, I did a lot of digging yesterday and I feel it last night during the night. <laughs> but doing well and uh, found a few more scorpions before bed last night. Actually three, which was, you know, a little bit upsetting, but uh, all is well. I'm packing up camp and getting over to another area. I want to do a little bit of prospecting on the way out with the dry washer. And uh, then I'll be headed out a little bit later today. So that's the update for now. Doing well. Talk to you all soon. Welcome back. I've got all the gear and everything in back in the vehicle and I'm headed over towards this new patch of ground that I've never prospected on before. Yeah, this is an older road, no doubt. Sort of goes through the back, the back country here a little bit. I walked over this way first and I saw the road and that's why I knew it was back here. But pretty interesting area hey all right I'm back well I it's about lunchtime now I day three I've had a couple delays uh, one one couple people came up to me and they were lost so I started to offer them some help to find a way back out and it got kind of complicated but they're doing well they're on their way and I have found gold in just about every place out here it just depends on how much and what size and all that so we got 95 degrees and a nice little breeze, about a mile an hour uh, on and off. So we're gonna get started, we'll see how we do. All right, finishing up the run here. 20 minute run. Perfect dryness, it's plenty dry out. It's plenty hot out. It's completely upwind from there. See all the heavies getting caught in there. I really don't know what's going on here as far as the geology goes, except that I think I'm reworking workings that were worked a long time ago, like I don't know, the 1940s, 1950s. And what I wanted to do, and I, I'm I'm going to pan this out. Uh, I'm going to sit down and pan this out in just a minute here and see if there's any gold in this right here. What I wanted to do was I wanted to differentiate between this flat ground and this pile. See, this is a tailings pile. This is an old tailings pile. Everything else except for those two shovels came out of this flat ground, ran through the dry washer. You can see there's the, there's the tailing pile, there's the header pile. Next one I'm gonna do is it's gonna be all from this pile. Nothing from the flat ground, it's gonna be all from here. And I'll be able to then judge one or the other. I'm just gonna do a quick, and simple pan with the smaller pan inside the larger pan and uh, oh it feels good to be getting back in the swing of things here I was really getting into this last year and then I took a long break as you guys know and so it really feels good to be getting back into it but yeah I've got it right here I'm gonna go ahead and pan this out and we'll see what was in that first 20 minute run colors to me they're all pretty small there's one two three four five six that I can you know see there there might be a, some a couple little finer ones down in here but that gives us a good a good idea from that from that 20 minute run like I said before I'm gonna go do a 20 minute run out of that pile see what anything is in that pile compared to this be back later all right, back again here. We got a 20 minute run here of just the hill. Just this mound that runs along here. And it's all run through the dry washer. Now. Tailings piles growing larger. 
But I'm done now in this area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to collect the riffle tray. We'll take it over to the truck and pan it out and we'll see. Now it is hot out, but I'll tell you what, it's dry. It's a nice dry heat. There's a couple pieces that have a little bit more size to them than the, uh, there's probably some finer. Anyway, there's about eight pieces there. So for reference, eight pieces in the second one, six pieces in the first. All right, welcome back. All right, we're on our way over to the second area. We're gonna do the same thing we did at the previous place. We're gonna run the dry washer two times, two different spots, run it for 20 minutes each, each spot, do a test pan, see what kind of gold we've got in those areas. So the goal here right now is to do a little bit of prospecting with the dry washer so that we can figure out where to come on the next trip. All right, third sample spot for today day three there's been a lot of workings going on right around here but as well trumpet plants all patched along in here showing high mineralization plus we've got a whole lot of iron stone blowers working over here doing good this one here minute run there. This one here has a lot. This one here has a lot more. Much greater percentage of middle, you know, middle-sized cobble, middle-sized agate, cobble, whatever you want to call it, compared to the other area. There's almost almost no oversize. You can see there's a lot of oversize here. There's a fair, you know, there's obviously the undersize. And it's interesting, it looks like a good area. It looks to me like this is definitely not tailings. I prefer not to dig in tailings, obviously, for obvious reasons. But this looks like to me like just native ground. And lots of ironstone. And lots of assortment, assortment of rocks. We're gonna clean that out and give it a pan and see what we find in there. Sample number three. See how this one goes. Ain't bad. That ain't bad. That is nice. Yeehoo! 20 minute run. Oh, I got, I mean, there's probably some real fine down in here, but mainly we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a couple with some nice size to it. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm real happy with that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back. The dry wash is still set up in the same place. I'm gonna grab something to drink and I'm gonna dry, go back there and I'm gonna dry wash another, another, uh, I don't know, at least another 20 minutes. Hey, wrapping things up here, guys. I've got the last area done. I did another 20 minute run. I've got it in the bucket. We're gonna go pan it out in just a minute in the back. What kind of gold we found in that area. My hope is that looks a little bit like the last, uh, the, la the third sample or maybe better. I'll, I'll know where I'm coming back to next then the next time I come out and that'll be great to just know that ahead of time. 
Also, I wanted to just thank everybody for coming along. This has been a great trip. I really enjoyed it. It's been a while getting back out here. Sampling for uh, desert gold with a dry washer is a very effective way of going about prospect. It's good to get back in the swing of things with the simple tools that I have and locating some gold. So I'm excited about that. I hope you guys are too. If you are, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, leave a comment down below. All those things are free. They help the channel, they help us out with our statistics and we appreciate it. Secondly, if you'd like, go to our website. Oh, We've sure. got some products there that help support our, um, our videos, our trips, our expenses. And also you can join the different sites called uh, supporter sites where you can join one's called Patreon and one's called Subscribestar. And those are a way for viewers, supporters to pay for like a dollar a month or more uh, to help us get more videos, help make more trips and all that cover expenses and that kind of thing. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, take a look. Let's get back to the uh, panning in the back. Let's see what kind of gold we found in that last sample. And then I'm gonna get on out of here. This is the uh, fourth sample. This is the second one from the same spot as last time. Let's see what kind of gold we got in this baby. Wow, look at that. Nice little piece. I count one, two, three, four, five small ones. Little piece here, and then there's a little piece right there that's really nice. Look at that, that's a, that is not, look at that, that's a picker. Wow, look at that baby. Oh, that's great, wow. This is great, this is great. Okay, I'm gonna sniffer that up here. Try to do it on camera. Here we got it, right in the bottle. All right, thanks for everybody. Have a good one.